What can I say, y'all? It's the attack of the box shaped cars. This is a Kia Soul, man. Kia Soul. You got Soul. It's a 2014. Give you a look around the cabin. You know how I do it. Yeah, what we got going. You got a lot of controls on this one on the steering wheel. You got volume for the radio. Voice activated phone controls. Cruise. Real easy to reach and read and understand. I'm impressed with that. This is your center console. You got Bluetooth, MP3, and a basic radio. Gear shift. All black interior, much like the Cube. Now, the windows aren't as huge, and the windshield ain't as huge as the Cube, so it feels a lot less like an ice cream truck, a mini ice cream truck, than the Cube did. And I was shocked that when I touched these, you know, somebody, this one is plastic, but when I touch here, this is actually soft. This was a soft touch material, and on the door, it's soft touch, which Kia usually uses a lot of plastic, so I was surprised by that. And you got a speaker right out in the open here. Not that big carpet thing up here like the cube head. So you don't have to feel like a clown as much when you drive this thing. The seats are about the same. And the back seems to be a little smaller than the cube. So I think you get a little more room in the cube. But I would trade the look of this Kia Soul over the looks of that cube any day. It's a lot better looking. I feel less like a clown. If I had to drive one of these box shaped cars, this would be the one I would drive. Let me put it on the road and see what it feels like. Take a spin around the block for y'all. You ready? Let's go. Backing it up. All right, so as far as the road feel, it's actually pretty similar to that cube. Acceleration isn't too peppy. It takes a while to get into gear. You feel a delay from the time you smash on the gas till the vehicle picks up speed. But this ain't a car that's made for speed. It's made for transportation. The engine is a, maybe a little noisier, but the ride it's actually a little smoother than the Cube now that I'm hitting some bumps. It's absorbing those bumps a little better than the Cube shock system did. You know, I, I, I actually I could actually drive this car. I would hate it. I would hate my life every second if I was driving that Cube. But I could drive this and I wouldn't care what nobody had to say about me. I could push this. I'm confident enough in my manhood. I don't care that people say men are supposed to drive certain type of cars. I never bought into that talk. I drive what I want to drive. Are you paying the note? Are you walking? Are you catching the bus while I'm riding? Then shut up. Much like my reviews. If you don't like what I say about the car, then give me a thumbs down and buy what you want. I'm just trying to give y'all my point of view. And who am I? Anyway, I'm the average car review guy, so who cares what I have to say? <laughs> But if I can help anybody out there, that's always a plus. So, the engine is average. It's not peppy. I'm guessing the fuel economy has to be pretty good based on that fact. But you gotta wonder about safety in these things. I actually would feel safer in this car than I would in a Nissan Versa or something more compact. Seems like it's a little more room up front to absorb the front on collision. The side, I don't know. It's got a it's got an airbag. I don't know if y'all can see that with the way the shadows are going, but it's got a side impact airbag, which is good. Let me give y'all the one-handed backseat shot that I am famous for in my own head. How did that back seat look to y'all? 
with the one-handed reverse shot. So, like I said, the cube might be a tad bit bigger in the back seat and the little trunk area, but this overall is a nicer package. It looks less ridiculous. You got a big, nice laid out steering wheel with all the controls you would expect in a more luxurious type of car or a premium model. Still not too fancy on the interior, but more to look at and mess with and play around with than that Nissan Cube, that's for sure. You even got a phone charger, USB and auxiliary jack down in the console. You got an armrest. I don't even think the Cube had an armrest section like this with a cup holder. So yeah, I think Kia got this little box car segment on lock. If you're looking for a car shaped like this for maybe a younger person in your family to, just to put around in or get to and from class or high school, this would be the better option. Now, if you have a kid or whatever, whoever, adult who likes the cube better, have them try it out and test drive and compare the two. You might change their mind. I think you should change their mind if you can, but people like what they like. And if they want the cube over the soul, then I hope they enjoy it. Me personally, if somebody gave me one of these as a gift, I would definitely drive it. But with that cube, I would I would have to make them return that to the dealership. <laughs> so, my final verdict on my five-point scale for the Kia Soul Got to base this on the car class it's in, the expectations of a car in this price range, and compare it to something like the Nissan Cube. I would give this a solid. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four out of five in the segment. Four out of five. That's a pretty high score. So this is a uh, as good as you can get, as far as I'm concerned with a car shaped like this. Let me give y'all a look at the outside. And there you have it, Kia Soul. Kia, you got it on lock. Nissan can't compete with that stupid looking car that they got. Let's open up this rear area. Alright, oh, got a nice little compartment back here. And they even kind enough to throw in a little snow brush. Or did that get left in there? Who knows? The average car view guy out. <laughs> 